In that sense, Senin, like considering the market that we're in right now, right? There's a lot of fear. Uh, people either don't want to start off right now if they haven't yet, or the ones who did start already. Primarily, I think during COVID, there was like a big, you know, like a trend and everybody started jumping into this. Uh, but those people as well now don't know what to do with their money, right? Um, so what have like what do you have to say about this in terms of considering what's happening in Pakistan? That's a separate story of its own. But then also what's happening around the world right now, whether it's crypto, whether it's the stock market in general, um, the dollar and, you know, the BRICS and all these like economic updates that we're currently living in right now. Uh, and all of this is going to impact wherever we are in the world. And of course, that's going to impact the portfolios that we hold on to. Um, so what do you have to say about that? So you're a hundred percent right in terms of we're in times where it is pretty much difficult even for experts to pinpoint what's going to happen mm -hmm. because the information, the transparency that we require isn't really there. There's a lot of uh, noise in the news to sift through uh, that noise is not easy. And we're expecting somebody who's, who's, right now pursuing their medical degree to do that or oh, day in and day up, that's not right, is there. One thing that's, again, I'm not too sure if it's, it's, it's right or wrong, it does take a toll on people. What's happening is this generation, Gen Z, even pre millennials, what's happening is they consume a lot of information, uh, whether, it's, whether it's through television or primarily through social media, right? They read a lot of news, they are consuming, even in Pakistan, the trend of consuming podcasts has been on, on, on the up, up end, right? So uptick. Um, people are consuming a lot of podcasts and a lot of podcasts as well. People understand that there are problems. People understand that there is inflation. People understand that their money, their savings are under threat. So at the very least, it's not like they're insulated from that fear and information. That fear is there. So... That is also important to push your, push that person into action. What is the next step? So they've understood, okay, our problem. This is a problem. Uh, you know, uh, the dollar is rising. The you know our savings are taking a hit or whatever. At least that part is done. Otherwise, we would have to come in and sort of uh, the the initial campaign, marketing campaign for us would be based on fear. Look, this is what is going to happen. We would sound like an insurance company. Yeah. You die and please buy our insurance that doesn't that's not where i want to be yeah. once that is done now i just have to say listen you've pretty much got a realization of that things are bad so inflation is going to be up your savings are going to take a hit things are going to get tough now let's have as many conversations let's watch as many uh, as much as learning material let's get through this time building our skills so that anytime during this tough hour during these tough hours and any time in the future when such a time comes again, you are ready. You want to be in a position to make the best possible decision to either fight intelligently or back off. Freezing is an option. That is what our conversations are, right? It is difficult, but we will get through this together because again, I will not profit because I'm not a brokerage house right now. I have no concern of how much you're trading. I will not force you to trade as much as possible. Mm -hmm. I just ask you to learn as much as possible and to take intelligent bets based on the circumstances in front of you. That is how we will ride this wave together. If you want to move into absolutely no risk, those options are available. Let's have a conversation on how you can best utilize that. Again, that has no personal interest for me, but that might make the most sense for you in your journey right now, given that your interest rates are up. But in, also in terms of, in times of conflict, in terms of when that fear is already established and they've understood that, this is the best time to also learn how to navigate volatile markets, right? When markets get better, uh, or when you feel that you have, uh, you know, you should be into the market, go into that time. At the end of all of this, again, there is a disclaimer that needs to be written on your front desk if you're getting into this. You're probably not going to time the market. What's more important is time in the market. So over the course of many cycles, years, if you've built your investing IQ and if you stay the course in the market, then you're going to be in a much better position. You're not going to, based on this everyday 
training hours. That's not going to be good, good for your mental health either. True. Oh my God, that is the most important part. And thank you for highlighting that.